My name is Badrul Hisham Yahaya. I'm the principal investigator of the Lung Stem Cell and Gene Therapy Groups, Advanced Medical and Dental Institute, University of Science Malaysia. Our group research works involve basic understanding on pathophysiological changes of the airway during injury and repair, and the application of stem cell for therapy and development of model system that mimic the human conditions of diseases. Lung cancer stem cell is one of our research interests as well. The existence of cancer stem cells in the cancer population are thought to be responsible that contribute to a significant challenge in treating a cancer. Our group interest is to understand the genetic compositions of cancer stem cells and later can be used as a targeted therapy to treat lung cancer. The study involved the in vitro and in vivo model system. Recent evidence indicates that tumor contain a small population of cancer stem cell that are responsible for tumor maintenance. The genetic composition of cancer stem cell is not yet fully understood, but manipulations of the specific genes that maintain the integrity would be beneficial for developing strategies to combat lung cancer. Therefore, our main interest is to understand the genetic compositions of lung cancer stem cell and to identify specific genes that later can be manipulated to specifically target lung cancer. And this project, this important project, is carried out by our PhD student Nora Shikin Binti Zakaria. For my PhD, I've been working on identifying, characterizing and understanding the properties of cancer stem cell in lung cancer. One of the hottest and controversial topic in cancer research is the discovery of cancer stem cell. As the name implies, cancer stem cell is stem cell-like cancer cell. It originates in very early on tumor development and it's probably going to be the most difficult cell to treat. This particular cell has the ability to self-renew, make copy of itself, presence in tumor in a very small number and make them very difficult to detect. This cell also capable of giving rise to a lot of daughter cells that actually form the tumor mass. Another important criteria of cancer stem cell is that these cells is resistant to chemo radiation. This could explain why current treatments are not fully effective in treating the disease. Many researchers have suggested that cancer stem cell is the real target to go for cancer treatment. This is a very promising chance that by combating or destroying this cancer stem cell, we will actually destroy the very essence of tumour and tumour would not develop any further without the presence of cancer stem cell. Lung cancer was identified and isolated from lung cancer cell line using cancer stem cell biological marker. All these markers have been well described as promising marker for lung cancer. After performing characterization assay, we found that this lung cancer stem cell shows stem cell-like characteristics including differentiation into osteogenic and adipogenic lineages, self-renewal and expressing stem cell transcription factors. This cell also forms in a graft tumour after transplanted into new mice. This indicates their tumorigenic capability. All this evidence that we have support the presence of cancer stem cell in lung cancer and this cell may be responsible in the development and progression of lung cancer. Once the cancer stem cell population have been successfully identified, we have performed whole genome gene analysis expression using microarray. The microarray data have given us so much information about lung cancer stem cell, especially at the transcriptomic level. All this data is very helpful as to help us understand the fundamental aspect of lung cancer stem cell and to help us find a suitable candidate genes or pathway that control and regulate the growth of this cell. One of the potential pathway addressed in our study is the nucleic factor kappa B pathway. Our study has demonstrated that by inhibiting this particular pathway gives us a promising results in reducing the aggressiveness and stemless characteristic of cancer stem cell. 
the data generated from our study has provided the fundamental knowledge in understanding the cancer stem cell. We hope that this data can be further explored in detail and help in providing a better treatment for lung cancer patients.